Without kryptonite, Superman would be pretty boring. A superhero with unlimited power that can only be defeated by someone from his dead home planet? Hard pass. Lucky for us, there's kryptonite to keep things interesting. That's kryptonite, Superman. Little souvenir from the old hometown. This green glowing crystal gives any diabolical evildoer, or Batman, the means to take down the Man of Steel, which is probably why Superman can't seem to get away from this poisonous crystal. You may know kryptonite from its signature green, crystalline state, but this magical Kryptonian death rock comes in many forms. When it was first introduced in the DC Universe, it was actually red. It wasn't until a few years later when the infamous stone took on its signature green glow, but it hasn't stayed green. Kryptonite comes in almost all colors of the rainbow, and each variation affects Superman and other Kryptonians in a different way. It's amazing that fragments of this destroyed planet can have such a varied effect on its marooned inhabitants. But if Superman were to find himself here on our Earth, would he have any reason to worry? There are a few stones on our planet that might give him pause if he were to encounter them. Peridot is a gemstone that exclusively forms with an olive green hue, but the intensity of the color depends on how much iron is contained in its structure. Moldavite is a crystal that has a glassy texture and coke bottle green color. Because it's a tektite, meaning it's formed from meteorite impacts, Kal-El and his Kryptonian brethren have extra reason to be suspicious. And I bet Clark Kent won't be buying an emerald necklace for Lois Lane anytime soon because the trace amounts of chromium and vanadium make this variety of barrel look strangely similar to his crystalline nemesis. But you may be saying, Superman's a smart guy. There's no way he will be fooled by just any green rock. I'm no Superman expert, but I know that kryptonite glows and is radioactive. Well, you may be right, but there are other rocks out there that behave like kryptonite that he may not immediately dismiss. There are several gemstones that emit light under the right conditions. By itself, the mineral willemite doesn't look anything like kryptonite. If anything, it looks like a Jackson Pollock painting was turned into a rock. But if you put willemite under an ultraviolet light, it glows a brilliant green color. The manganese impurities, along with the way the UV light excites the electrons and the mineral's molecular structure, creates its ominous green glow. The glow in this rock is so strong, scientists use synthesized wilmite that glows white to create the first fluorescent tube lamps. Calcite is another mineral that can glow under UV light. It's a little more versatile than the wilmite because it glows in several colors depending on the sample. Remember how sapphire crystals can appear blue or green or red based on what elements make them impure? Well, calcite glows different hues based on the impurities in its molecular makeup. But it's not just green glowing rocks Superman should be on the lookout for if he finds his way to our planet Earth. There are also several minerals that are radioactive. These minerals may not be kryptonite to Superman, but they are definitely kryptonite to us regular folks. You think you're better than humans, don't you? Uh, Flying around, also perfect and superior. You're wrong! No. As it happens, you are wrong. <laughs> Minerals like metatorbernite, uranophane, and cuprocloudowskite all contain uranium. Yeah, that uranium. The one used in nuclear power plants and weapons. As we all know, the atoms in uranium are extremely unstable. Thorionite and thorite are crystalline materials that contain mostly thorium, which explains their clever names. Thorium may not have the brand recognition of uranium, but it is also pretty radioactive. If you happen upon any of these minerals, make sure you limit your exposure and thoroughly wash your hands. Basically, do the same thing Superman would do if he ever grabbed a hunk of kryptonite. So we've discussed gems and other minerals that look and behave like kryptonite, but we haven't found anything that exactly fits the bill. However, thanks to the 2006 film, Superman Returns, we actually have a chemical formula for kryptonite. It's sodium, lithium, boron, silicate, hydroxide, and fluorine. And it looks like, drum roll please, this. Yeah, I was a little underwhelmed too. This mineral is called jadarite. It's a hard, chalky white mineral that is found in Serbia. And we probably wouldn't be talking about it at all if its elemental makeup wasn't coincidentally the same as the kryptonite in the 2006 film. There is one key difference. Jadarite doesn't contain fluorine. Given that fluorine is highly toxic in its gaseous state and extremely reactive, if we add it to jadarite, I suppose it could... No, I'm being told no. I'm being told we should not try it. Let's say you're still not satisfied and are worried a benevolent hero with immense power will show up on Earth and despite his goodwill, his extreme power forces you to view him as an enemy with absolute certainty. Is there another mineral that, despite not being true kryptonite, might ward him off? 
Your best bet may be trinitite, which is the mineral byproduct of the plutonium-based trinity nuclear bomb test that took place in 1945. It is composed of quartz and feldspar, retains a translucent green color, and is mildly radioactive. Its formation is strikingly similar to fulgurite, which is a mineral formed when lightning strikes sand in the desert or beach. Given its characteristics, I think brandishing trinitite is probably the best option if you happen upon a certain Kryptonian vagrant. Do fragments of your destroyed home planet strip you of all your superhuman ability? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.